Good afternoon, everybody. Rod Baker with God and Rod. And I'm doing this video today because I'm going to start a new channel. And we're going to call it uh, Narcissist Justice. Okay. And, and the thing that, that helped me a whole lot with after dealing with the narcissistic abuse that I went through. One of the things that really helped me a lot was I found people like uh, Kevin at the Royal We. Um, I found uh, another one, Narc Free. She was really good. Um, uh, of course, you know, the Patrick Late Tehan, I think is his name. And then lately I found uh, another one, Yaz, at um, Game Exposed. But what I kept doing was I kept investigating what had happened. You know, because if you remember, you know, when, when you went through, or if you're going through it now, uh, you know, what is it that they do? What is it that they do to us? And, you know, they lie, they cheat, they gaslight, they deflect, they treat unkind, they treat us unkind, uh, they love bomb us, uh, they deceive us, they ghost us, <laughs> Then they character assassinate us, you know, laugh at us, you know, in our pain with all their friends. Uh, and they abuse us. Now, it's, you know, my narcissist was about this tall. <laughs> so I couldn't understand how somebody that I knew for, you know, 35 years could treat me so bad when all I did was love them, care for them, help them, be there for them. And the things that they would, that she would say was just outrageous. You know, where you question your own sanity. So, but I'm setting up this, this channel because what I did because what, what she had done was what I call relationship offenses. What they do is relationship offenses. They break every rule. And, and see, that's one of the things she and I had was we had written out the agreements of, uh, of being best friends. We had a list of things that we would abide to as best friends. And she broke every one of them. <laughs> you know? And then would deny it. <laughs> so those are offenses. And they, hold, they have no accountability. They do not hold themselves accountable at all. It's all put on us. So what I began to do right after is I started calling for justice. I prayed for justice. And I, would, I found scriptures. I found uh, other texts where I called for justice from God and the universe. I called for justice. So what we're going to do with this channel is, is we're going to set it up to where you can call for justice and I will be in agreement with you. So, you know, when we start this channel, we're going to call it uh, narcissist justice. I, I wanted to call it narcissistic reckoning, but <laughs> I think justice is a good place to start. And they'll reap what they sow. But, but see, there's some things you have to do. You have to do. You do have to completely, well, I, I say not talk to them, but you need an advocate, see? You need an advocate. So if, you know, if, if they text you or call you or something like that, having someone else be able to say to them, hey, look, narc, you're going to reap what you sow. you got a reprobate mind. You're cursed. You're, gonna, you're going to receive ten times what you dished out to me. And you're going to pay for all of your injustices to all the other people before and after. 
See, there's a spiritual court to be held. But if you don't call for justice, and the other thing is, is you need to stay out of a relationship and heal. You need to, you need to seek some therapy. This is a real deal, man. Doesn't matter if it's narcissistic parent, kids, you know, uh, relationship. You need to seek some therapy for this. You know, so so what my advice is, as your um, spiritual representative, is give yourself one year. Don't get into another relationship for one year. And seek therapy for one year. I don't care if you've been in a, in a narcissistic relationship for 15 years or five months. It doesn't matter. Give yourself one year of learning to take care of yourself. Because let me tell you something. It's like getting ran over by a bulldozer. You know? It's like roller skating in a buffalo herd. After you deal with a narcissist. And an, especially a narcissistic family. Especially a narcissistic family. Because they'll all lie to you. They'll all BS you. And it doesn't matter how much you love them. The more you're kind to them, the worse they are to you. And that's what I told mine. I said, if you treat me unkind again, I'll never speak to you again. And I held true. Still to this day. Coming up on two years. And I still hold true to that. I call for justice. I call for a universal and godly justice. And let me tell you, I kind of like the way life is right now. <laughs> so if the justice is me benefiting, you know, not them getting ran over by a truck or, you know, their whole life falling apart, I, I don't care what happens to them. What I've seen is my life be blessed. An overabundance of blessings. So guess what? I'll take that. That's justice to me. My life's blessed and I'm protected from them. And all the flying monkeys and, you know. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to start this channel. Narcissist Justice. And um, we are the spiritual represent representatives for the trouble that you went through. Okay? It, it's, it's like going to universal court or, or spiritual court. See, if you don't take your case to court, they just get away with it. You know, if somebody, if somebody steals from you or if somebody, you know, doesn't hold up their end of the, the deal, doesn't hold their end of the contract, and you don't take them to court, they get away with it. So as above, so below. We hold them accountable. We hold them accountable to God, to the universe, to karma. <laughs> so anyway, over the I think after this weekend, I'm gonna go fishing this weekend. I got I'm here at the cattle barn now. I got some cattle to take care of, but. After this weekend, we're going to set it up. We're going to set it up. Narcissist justice. We're going straight to God with this. So I hope you, I hope you find it interesting. <laughs> Good day.